Oi friends, today is going to be a quick episode, we're just going to color this zombie. Go watch the previous episode if you want to know how we made this model. We can of course do this by just using materials, but I feel like using color palettes is much easier. In order to do that, we'll need to give a material to our character, so select the character, go to materials tab down here, and he already has a skin material because we imported the arms, but if he doesn't have a material, just click new and add it but I'm just gonna select the skin material. Well, actually, I'm gonna go for a fresh new material so I can show you what I'm doing. Then go up to the shading tab up here, and you'll have a couple of nodes here that we have to connect. So I'm just gonna right click or press Shift A, then search, and I'm gonna search for a image texture, and I'm gonna connect the color to the base color, okay? And let's create a new texture now. So click new, and I'm gonna name this one Zombie Diffuse. The width and height doesn't really matter because we're using simple colors, but I'm gonna go with 512 by 512. I'm gonna uncheck alpha and I'm gonna click 32-bit float and click OK. Now we have a texture connected to the shader so we can see what colors we're using. If we go over to texture paint, we can paint on our texture, make sure it's selected up here. If I try and paint, you'll see it's a very kind of gradient looking thing to fix that you can go up here to the tools right here and then go down to fall off and click this straight line so we get a nice hard edge and now if you paint you can see we get a nice color okay our zombie is going to be a green color so i'm just going to go ahead and select a nice dark green color something like that and i'm going to place it in the top left like that i'm also going to want some pants so i'm going to go for a nice brownish color for the pants just gonna add it right here I'll also want some kind of a belt so in order to do that I'll get like a nice dark gray color I'll place it here and I also want some shoes which are gonna go for an even darker gray color almost black and I'm just gonna place it there that's all we're gonna need let's save that image so it doesn't delete it because blender likes to do that so just go image save as and I'm gonna save this as zombie diffuse PNG just so we have it there and now we'll have to edit the UVs of our character so if you go over to UV editing and I'll just enable screencast keys so you guys can see what I'm doing it's fine if you have a mirror modifier for now you can see our UVs are all over the place in order to fix them we can use something called smart UV project so just click U smart UV project and I like to increase the island margin to about 0 0.010 and click OK you can see it unwrapped it it's not perfect, but we don't need perfect for this. I'm just gonna click A while in this uh, window, press S to scale, and I'm gonna place it all in the green. Now you can see uh, the color here, so you're just gonna have to press Z and material preview, or just do it up here in the top right. Now it also has some specular, so I'll go to the materials tab, and I'll just decrease the specular to zero, so we can see the clear color. Okay, in order to get some pants, I'm gonna go press tab to go into edit mode, and I'm gonna alt right click, everywhere where I want the pants to be well I want it here and then I also want the legs so I'll just press press one on my numpad Z to go into wireframe B to box select and just select everything then press Z to go back into material uh, view and this is gonna be our pants so I'm just gonna drag it over by pressing G and we have some pants okay for the shoes I'll just go ahead and alt right click these right here you can use the circle select tool with C to select all the faces of the foot and then just move it over to the darkest color and that's going to be our uh, thingy right there. If you want to, you can take this top loop right here and move it to green so it kind of looks like maybe some skin showing or something. I think I'll keep it like that. And in order to get a belt, uh, you can see this loop is a bit too thick to make a belt. So I'll go ahead and just in edit mode, press Control R, add a loop cut uh, right there. And then in face select mode with three, I'm just gonna move that over to here. And now he has a belt. For the rest of the body, I'm gonna keep him naked, but you can add a shirt or something, maybe some red somewhere if you want to, on his face maybe, but I, I feel like this is good for now. And that's pretty much it. Uh, everything else, uh, we're gonna continue next time. We're going to rig him. And uh, yeah, a really quick video today. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you'll, you learned something new. And I'll see you next time, hopefully. Okay now, bye bye.